Well, there's no clear cutoff between the requirements of mobile or semi-mobile, but mobile units will be able to process up to 3,000 ton per hour in the range approximately, while semi-mobile or relocatable units will be able to process much more, such as 10,000, even more tons per hour. The customer had the problem of increasing haulage cost in a quite deep pit and he asked us to implement a solution of in-pit crushing and then uh, convey the material up to the pit. So for this we designed a primary station in the pit with, based on a jaw crusher and also a secondary crushing station so as to bring down the material size to the requirements of the conveying system which was chosen, it means the HAC. And this was implemented within a tiny uh, surface in the, in the bottom of the pit and allowed the customer to save a subsequent uh, amount of fuel and of uh, damper fleet. Environmental and safety issues are key values for METSO and this is, these are parameters that uh, are important for designing the ITPS offering that we have now for our customers. Yes, yeah, so on the offerings we are having right now on the gyratory crushers, we are working on equipping those uh, crushers with um, frequency uh, inverters so as to allow the customer to adapt the speed to the real feed capacity of their station, which is a major advantage to save energy on the long run for those uh, sta stations, be it semi-mobile or stationary. Uh, that uh, statement is true for the fully mobile local track local link uh, type of installations, uh, which were originally uh, developed to the needs of uh, aggregate and cement producers, uh, we can say up to 1,000 tons an hour uh, capacity class. On the other hand, many of the other main components for ITPS uh, solutions, such as apron feeders, primary gyratory crushers, have been well established in the mining world for, for a long time. Our current offering mainly consists of uh, the fully mobile solutions, local track, local link type, uh, current uh, uh, models what we have uh, up to 3000 tons an hour, but we are not necessarily limited to that, it will depend on the uh, project in hand. Uh, and uh, secondly, uh, the uh, semi-mobile solutions with primary territories up to 10,000 tons an hour production and even, even more. Locotrack and Locolink is a unique solution uh, because uh, uh, the mobile conveyors which follow the primary crushers, crusher, they are not moved separately but they follow uh, the moving primary crusher automatically. So this allows uh, the primary crusher and the mobile conveyors make uh, the required movements uh, as quick as possible to follow the loading shovel. So it's uh, safe to say that uh, in the suitable operations where this uh, method can be applied, Locotrack Locolink offer the most cost-efficient way to move the material from the face onto the following conveyor system. Uh, on the other hand, we must say that uh, uh, this system is not applicable to uh, mines with uh, complexity, uh, maybe deep existing mine uh, with uh, lending requirements. Uh, for those purposes, uh, probably the semi-mobile uh, system offers uh, better adaptability. Uh, but again, we can say that uh, by proper planning also, it will be possible to install local track local link system into more demanding applications. In fact, uh, we have worked for many proposal projects uh, uh, 
looking to install a primary gyratory on, on a crawler chassis. However, none of these uh, projects uh, so far have developed to the uh, realization phase, but we are interested to look into these possibilities in the future. The benefit of the uh, Joe Crusher for the mobile installation is uh, one, it can take uh, practically any type of rock, no matter how hard. Uh, secondly, uh, it is lower profile uh, than, for example, primary gyratory, which also can take any rock. Uh, but because the height, uh, lower height uh, combined with the uh, grizzly, uh, the jaw crusher can handle significant, significant capacities. Uh, uh, and due to the height, it can be built as a fully mobile, mobile crusher. LT200 is uh, so far the largest uh, mobile uh, crusher we have built and delivered. Uh, and uh, there are several uh, interesting projects uh, for, for that machine, hopefully coming in um, next years to, to the final stages of the realization. Altai Polymet uh, was and has been an uh, extremely interesting project for us. Uh, customers' thinking was very innovative. They wanted to have a fully mobile system for moving both the ore and waste rock away from the mine, mine phase. Uh, and this is, to my knowledge, uh, the first time so far in any mine using one uh, primary crushing and conveying system to do that. So this was a very, very interesting and very challenging project also for us. Uh, since the operation started uh, in full scale in 2016, uh, there was naturally a certain ramp-up period to get to the, uh, the complete uh, uh, equipment into uh, full production speed. But uh, in recent uh, months, both the utili uh, target utilization and uh, production figures have been. We see great potential uh, in pre-concentration because uh, uh, it looks that uh, the benefits, uh, the cost benefits of uh, pre-concentration may be very significant, uh, covering some of the good material and uh, avoiding dilution of the process by sending uh, waste material unnecessarily into, into the process. So uh, benefits seem to be great, but uh, at the same time we, we have to say that uh, uh, the principle and, and the findings are at the at early stage. Uh, we are working on one uh, small-scale pilot uh, project which is about to go into operation, so we will know a little bit more in the, in the close future. Uh, the first Locotrack uh, Locolink uh, installations we built uh, 25 years ago were diesel-powered. Uh, of course, still using electric motors for different conveyor drives, but uh, the power itself was uh, produced by the diesel, uh, diesel engine. Uh, in recent years, there's been a clear trend towards uh, using more externally produced uh, uh, electric power, because that is not, of course, uh, it is cheaper and it's more envi environmentally friendly to use. So yes, uh, practically, all local track local link installation in recent years are fully fully electric. Maybe just having the option to have a, a small generator set, a, driven, a diesel driven generator, to make independent moves. Uh, 